Hey guys, um, a lot of people have asked me a lot of questions about the tone I was using in the Harpist solo lesson video. And instead of sharing the patches or screenshots of my Fractal Axe Effects um, windows, I just decided to make a tone making tutorial. Generally, because there there aren't a lot of good ones out there, and the Axe Effects has a big learning curve, and people need to learn how to make their own tones as opposed to using the stock ones in the Axe Effects. The stock ones are good, but they're not as good as the tones you can make for yourself. So yeah, so here I have a um, blank Axe Edit window, and the first thing we're gonna do is after you clear it, you're gonna you're gonna connect these two ends, so you have a signal pass. So now. So now I have some a DI tone of this beautiful Sir guitar. And real quick, what I'm running in this guitar is I have Sir Thornbuckers in the bridge and the neck. And I believe this is an ML. And these are not the Thornbucker Pluses. I ended up getting the normal ones for this guitar and they're really awesome. So I'm into it. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is put in an amp and a cab block and even before looking at the amp I'm gonna load a cab impulse that I think is just like fairly you know flat so this is just um, a Misha Mansour ML Sound Labs IR of some 212 but it's just balanced I'm gonna make my tone throughout and then come back to the cabs later now in the video the amp I was using was the a mark 5 or not a mark 5 but a mark 2c plus model which is this model USA 2c plus <laughs> Right now this tone sounds like shit, obviously, but this amp is like, it's fairly hard to use. I have one, I have the Mark 525 in real life, and that's why I really like this sort of sound, so I try to emulate it in the Axe Effect. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn these the fuck down, like I'm gonna put the bass in the mid at one, because on a real life Mark 5 or Mark 2C Plus amp, these controls, the bass, mid, and treble are pre-gain stage, which is why you get this sort of muddy, bassy, fuzzy, disgusting thing. I have some friends that run the bass pretty high on these sorts of amps, but I don't like to because I like the tighter low end thing. Already, just with that move, I'm starting to get that genty character. If I go back like to six on the bass, what, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go back to one. So that's kind of starting to get where I want to do it. I'm gonna bring down the treble a little bit and then bring the bright a little bit. It's a bit too much gain for me right now, so I'm gonna do this on the open. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, and also a big thing about the tone of those using in the video is the, the fourth position right here. This is the most important thing in the guitar. So that's maybe, maybe I want a bit more gain. You know, little moves make big differences on the X effects because you're looking at everything under a microscope. Like a 0.5 of an EQ is going to make a big difference when you're in this studio environment really tweaking your tones. That's about what I'm looking for. Maybe a bit more game. Maybe I'll just go nine here. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's about the amount of gain I want. It gents if I pick hard and if I bring it to the split and I don't pick hard. You know, it's touch sensitive. I get that kind of clean, crunchy tone. And I didn't even touch my volume. But if I pick harder with the split boil, like I get. I get that stratty spank, you know, even the second one. So next up, since this is a Mark type amp, I have to mess with this EQ like in the real life one. 
So what I do on my real life Mark V 25 is I dip some of the mid range and I bring up these EQs. I do something like this. Maybe maybe I'm a bit more of a sicko sometimes, you know. But let's just start with that and see how it sounds. <laughs> some sub energy in here and maybe I'll bring this to three why not yeah, I like that for in terms of general EQ balance is I'm trying to have you know a nice balanced bridge rhythm sound you know but also a not abrasive split pickup sound I'm so like <laughs> You know? You definitely have to control your high end in these situations. But I think I'm doing okay. Bring up the bass a little bit just because I know I can get away with it. Mm. See right there? Like I put it to two and it was too much. Alright, so let's say that's good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna split these off so I could get some parallel reverb and delay going. So here's what you're gonna do. Bring the mix all the way up and then you're gonna make and then you're gonna do mute effects out on both of these. Cool. So so now you're gonna mess with the, the decibel level of the actual effect. I'm getting a phone call right now, so I'm gonna answer it and get back to this. Yo, what do you want? <sighs> Fucking guy. So now let's look at the settings of the delay and re reverb. So I'll turn off the delay for now and focus on the reverb. So I really like a long delay, like really ambient delay, but at low volumes. So I'm gonna go large cathedral. <laughs> kind of what I go for. I don't really mess with too much other levels. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna bring up the gate just a tiny bit. The ratio actually to four. Uh, okay, so now let's go to the delay. So I'm gonna turn off the reverb for this and turn the delay on. And I'm gonna go stereo tape. I just like that and I like the delay being spread out because then it sounds cooler I guess so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna make it so it's the quarter note uh, I definitely want the feedback to be a bit higher cool now let's bring the delay in to see how it sounds <laughs> That's sick. Actually, I kind of want more reverb now that I think about it. What I'm gonna do though is that now I'm gonna add a drive to uh, have more if I want. And I, I've been really into the Zen Master because it's basically like, um, like a Wampler Euphoria. I do not need this much gain. And what I'm gonna do is I'm bring down the level, the the, pers the mix a little bit. This is like 70. Actually, fuck this. There we go. That's about what I want. So now I have a lot more sustain and a lot more jaunt. So I can do. 
But with the drive, I obviously can't do that. But then without it, it's a bit more. So I'll play the same line with the distortion on now. Like it's a subtle difference, but it definitely felt easier on my part because it's way more compressed. I almost forgot to talk about cabs, and cabs are super important. So all the cabs you've ever heard me use are from ML Sound Labs. They make the best cab IRs on the market, so if you don't have any, fucking buy some because they're great. So for this whole video of so far I've been using this Misha, I could totally get away with staying with it and just leaving it on this patch and it'd be fine. But let's just explore some other sounds you can get. So a lot of people are really into uh, V30s. So this is a V31. It's already a different character. I really like greenbacks. A bit more. There's a bit more glassiness in it. I really like that. If I go to the MLUS agent, it sounds like a different cat, right? So different character than what we just had. I really like the Legend IRs. These are really cool. I really like these. And that's what I used on the video that everybody was asking questions about. So that's cool. Whatever model you're using, if you think you're not getting good tones, get some third-party IRs. I would definitely like encourage you to go get some ML Sound Labs IRs because they are great. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys can start having better tone now. <laughs> If you want to see more, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Joseph underscore is underscore rad. You could follow my band page, Bird Problems, and look us up to hear our latest tracks. And if you've noticed, there's a little modern guitarist logo in the corner. Uh, you should join the Facebook group because it's great. I do weekly live streams there, and there's a lot of great content coming from their page on Facebook and whatnot. It's really great, so join it. See ya.